So this is a quick overview of how I got the LilyGo Power of Ethernet ESP32 module working with three PZM004 power monitoring modules over one hardware UART of the ESP32. So this is a very specific project, but if you try to use the ESP32 and multiple PZM modules, you're going to find that you need to break them out onto different buses. Because unlike the ESP8266, the ESP32 software serial implementation is broken. I don't un understand why it doesn't work. Uh, I think it's something to do with timing. I was having loads of uh, frame errors. Just could not get a reliable, well, couldn't get any solution, let alone reliable or not. Uh, and I found, I finally found a way of doing it. And it involved modifying the PZM004 Arduino library by uh, Mandula J, I think his name is. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to run you through how to achieve this. So you have the LilyGo PoE board. Uh, you have these GPIOs exposed from the ESP32 and these GPIOs are used by the programming module which is the CH340 module so once uh, this is programmed and in production you don't need this. So the first thing was try to just get a simple sketch going in programming the PZM modules themselves. So this is something you need to do if you have multiple PZM modules on one bus. But this is fairly trivial. There are guides online on how to do this. You essentially connect them one at a time to the bus and the sketch looks for any PZM modules on that bus and gives them the address of what you specify. So here I've got them numbered 07, 08 and 09. Uh, now the sketch basically just addresses them individually and asks them for the data. So I won't go through the through the actual sketch itself here, but all that is happening is that we are uh, we are connecting uh, with connecting over Ethernet. We are asking for an IP address. We're receiving the IP address, and then we are subscribing to an MQTT topic on a server that you specify so i've got my home assistant details in here which is using the mosquito mqtt server and that's pretty much it actually there's 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 another thing in that you need to specify so this this modification of this library has a slightly different constructor for the uh for the serial instances that are used for each pizza module so Normally, without the modification, you can't specify this address on a hardware serial bus. So, usually, so this is where the limitation was. If you have a hardware serial bus, you can just address. It's, it's a catch-all address for all PZM modules, and they're all going to they're all going to respond over the top of each other. So, this is what the modification of the library allows you to do and uh, I will link this modification in the sketch. It's actually here. So if I go here, I'll show you. The PZM library is here. And it contains, it, it's made up of the C CPP and H files and these files need to be modified by my by taking away this line and adding adding the other line so you delete the line that's my minus and you add the line that's a plus so after you've done this you're 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 able to specify the address for each pzm serial instance and then you can just ask them one by one for their data so that's really the, the 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 content of this video. I was gonna I'm gonna post this sketch and I'm gonna uh, the sketch has the details on what to do to the library and it works. So as you can see here on the serial monitor, 
we are sending a JSON message to this IP address and these custom uh, custom UI components show the data coming in so I don't have any current clamps on at the moment but I have the voltage graphs here and you can see they're working well so the, this this is when the system was off whilst I was developing it so yeah you can see the data coming through there and it's just polling it once per second so yeah I'm gonna link the sketch and the information in the description so i hope this is helpful to somebody